Hi, and welcome to another Heads Up for Hosers video. In this episode, we'll be talking about BSPP, or British Standard Pipe Parallel Fittings, and how to properly identify and install them. As we saw the last time we dealt with British Pipe Thread, BSPT, or British Standard Pipe Tapered, had some shortcomings that caused them to be unreliable. To combat this, the BSPP fitting was created. BSPP stands for British Standard Pipe Parallel. When using the BSPT, sealing is all done by the crushing of threads together which creates a multitude of problems. To eliminate one of these problems, for example, screwing together the rigid connections of the hose and fittings, the female BSPP swivel was created. It has a swivel connection which turns freely on the fitting to be able to tighten it. This swivel is a straight thread, so instead of sealing with a wedging action by two tapered threads, the sealing is now done by a 30 degree seat located inside the swivel. This means for the male pipe to seal to the female BSPP, it also has to have a 30 degree seat located on the top of the fitting. Both male and female BSPP fittings are also available in a port connection style. This style of connection was developed to solve the orientation problems when sealing with BSPT, angled connections. If the male is a straight connection, it will have a chamfer and a seal otherwise known as a bonded seal, like this one. If the fitting is an elbow or T connection, the male BSPP fitting will have an O-ring and a retaining ring like this one. It will also have a lock nut to allow for orientation of the fitting in the required direction. The female BSPP port connection is a straight thread connection with a spot face, where the O-ring and bonded seal will lie against the flat external surface of the BSPP female port. Although British threads are European, they are commonly mistaken for metric. They are not metric threads because they are still measured using imperial units. BSPP comes in a wide range of sizes, from dash 2 to dash 48. A dash size is the determination of size for hose, tubes and fitting measurements. This is measured in 1 16 inch segments. In this video series, we'll deal mostly with hose and fittings. But note that for tubing, the dash size calculation is slightly different. Now here is an example. So when dealing with most types of hose, dash 32 equals 32 1 16 inch segments, which equals 32 16 or 2 inch hose ID. Now to measure pipe threads, you need to have an understanding of nominal pipe size as well. This means that in this day and age, a one inch BSPP fitting may not measure one inch anywhere on the fitting. This is due to inconsistencies in early pipe manufacturing. But it's a mouthful to call a one inch fitting a 1.30 or a one and five sixteenths inch fitting. So instead, we opt for its nominal size, or in name only, for simplicity. Because of the number of variations of BSPP fittings, identification can be lengthy and tricky. To start, we will look at the female swivel fitting. When presented with a fitting that looks like this, there are very few options for what it could be because of its unique design. Looking for a swivel, a parallel thread, and an internal seat, the fitting can only be one of two options. Female BSPP swivel or a female NPSM. To start identification, we will measure the inside diameter of the fitting. Because this is a female fitting with a straight thread, you can measure the inside diameter or ID at any point on the thread length. This ID measures 1 and 7 30 seconds of an inch. Confirm the nominal size by subtracting a quarter inch from the ID measurement. Consulting the book, 
we will have to choose between NPSM and BSPP to identify this fitting. So let's start with the BSPP section. Choosing the closest ID measurement, we see that 1 and 730 seconds ID has a nominal thread size of 1-11, which could be a dash 16. Using the thread pitch gauge, we find the number 11, and we can see that this is a dash 16 female BSP fitting. Since this fitting is so similar to the NPSM, if you do not get a good fit with your thread pitch gauge, then you should consult and confirm with the NPSM section of your book. Now you aren't out of the woods yet. Referring to these size charts, we can see that when dealing with dash 8 or dash 12 fittings, these two share the same nominal pipe size and thread pitch, making identification between them nearly impossible. Truthfully, the biggest difference is that the pipe thread has a 60 degree thread angle where the BSP has a 55 degree thread angle. This means that even though they feel like they'll thread together well, the difference in the thread angle means that the true seal is never formed and there's a chance of leaking. So how do you tell the difference between them? Well, we recommend that you question what equipment this fitting came off of. Depending on the type of equipment and the country of origin of said equipment, you can have a sense of what type of fitting you are working with. For example, if the equipment is from a European manufacturer, your fitting will most likely be a BSPP rather than an NPSM. It is a rare circumstance that you will get to this point, but for a Dash 8 or a Dash 12 NPSM fitting, it is important to note that these fittings are extremely similar and so, this mix-up could be possible. Although there are three different types of BSPP male fittings, they are all measured the same way to confirm size and thread pitch. We will use this fitting to show the steps we will use for all BSP male fittings. When identifying a male BSP fitting in this category, you can reference the collar on the bottom of the threads. On the bottom of the NPSM fitting, there is a slight collar between the threads and the flats of the fitting. Now, if you compare it with the BSPP, we can see that the collar is also present, but a lot larger. So that is one of the identifying factors you can look for. So once we have identified this as a male BSPP fitting, we start a little differently than the female thread to determine the size of the fitting by measuring the internal seat present at the top of the thread. Find the 30 degree point on the caliper and place it in the fitting. Here we can see that because the caliper is at a 90 degree angle to the fitting, the seat in the fitting is in fact a 30 degree seat. Keeping our calipers, we now need to measure the outside diameter or the OD of this fitting. Because it is a straight thread, we can measure anywhere along the fitting. Just make sure to angle your calipers to get the proper result. This measures 1 and 1 32nd. Subtracting 1 quarter from this measurement will give us our nominal thread size. We confirm with the book and we can see that this fitting OD of 1 and 1 32nd has a nominal thread size equal to 3 quarter of an inch, dash 14. Taking our thread pitch gauge, we look for the number 14. This confirms that this is a dash 12 BSPP male fitting. If the fitting is a male port connection, it will have a few identifying characteristics. A straight port connection will have a bonded seal and a 30 degree seat. We will measure it in the same way as we previously measured BSPP male fittings. If the connection is an angled BSPP port, it will have an adjustable lock nut, an O-ring, and a metal retaining ring. We will measure it the same way, but you do not have to confirm that there is a 30 degree seat because there will not be one on an angled BSPP port connection. As you can see, 
BSPP port connections also look very similar to ORB connections. On the straight connections, BSPP will always have an internal seat where the ORB will not. Also, instead of an O-ring, you'll have a bonded seal like this one. Elbow and T BSPP port connections will look even more like ORB connections. The biggest difference here is that there will always be a retaining ring like this one, where the ORB fitting will not have that. These fittings can always be confirmed by measuring the OD and confirming the thread pitch, but at first glance can be easily mixed up with the other fitting. Something to note for British pipe threads, frequently the thread size is expressed as a fraction or preceded by the letter R or G. The R represents a tapered thread and the G indicates a parallel thread. For example, the nominal size of a BSPP 3/8-19 may be expressed as a G 3/8. The dash 12 fitting that we just measured with a nominal thread size of 3 quarter hyphen 14 may be expressed as a G 3 quarter. Now we will get into how to install the different types of BSPP connections. Because there are two types of BSP fittings, port and non-port connections, they will install slightly different. For non-port connections, a BSP connection is installed by turning until hand tight. Once you have it hand tight, you will need to complete one and a half turns to ensure it is tightened. Leaks in a BSPP connection are commonly caused by either simply being too tight or not tight enough. If you do over tighten, you can mushroom out the seat of the fitting. And in that case, it is recommended that you replace the damaged pieces and attempt to tighten again. If your seat on the other male or female connection is damaged or pitted, it can create a leak path. So here at Greg's, we recommend that you change your fittings. When installing a straight male port connection, the same method will be done, but we will want to check to see if the bonded seal is damaged. If it is, we recommend replacing it with a new one. Now when installing an elbow BSPP port connection, first we want to check that both the O-ring and retaining ring are in good condition and not damaged in any way. If they are, these parts are replaceable, so you do not have to replace the whole fitting. Next, check that the washer is not loose in any way. If it is, the fitting will need to be replaced as this part of the fitting is not replaceable. Now we will use the port in this pump to demonstrate. We will back off the jam nut, pull back the washer, the o-ring and the retaining ring. We will lubricate the o-ring with some fluid from the system. and then we will screw the connection in hand tight. Now you can reposition your fitting to get any desired orientation, but no more than one full turn. Lastly, we will now tighten down our jam nut until we feel a sharp rise in torque. Voila! BSP fittings can also resemble many metric German DIN fittings, a fitting we have not talked about yet. The easiest way to tell the difference right away is to use your thread pitch gauge. Check the three metric thread pitches against the threads of the fitting. If they do not match up to the thread pitch, we may have a BSPP fitting. Proceed to our normal steps to identify the fitting we have in hand. Well, thank you for joining us on another episode of Heads Up for Hosers. Remember, you can come into your local Greg's for any of your hose and fitting needs, as every branch has a full service shop. Please join us on our next episode where we take a ride on the Autobahn and explore the German DIN thread. We will see you next time and have a great Canadian day.